Welcome to your astrology and spirituality overview for Tuesday the 20th of October. Thank you so much darling. Today the moon is in the free spirited independent sign of Sagittarius. This is not so much being mindful of those everyday chores at home in terms of the more immediate environment. It's more of a freer spirit, but it's actually in a T-square with Venus in the sign of Virgo and Neptune in the sign of Pisces. So we've got three mutable positions here. So I think when it comes to relating, especially with Mercury in the retrograde, things are going to be perhaps a little bit flexing. I don't think we should necessarily expect anything that's agreed today to be written in stone, but it does give us the opportunity to be quite enthusiastic about things, not least that the moon in Sagittarius is forging an amazingly positive link to Mars in Aries. So that fiery energy is good. We should embrace that, but just be aware that things can be quite fluid around all sorts of communications. Alisa, what Thank cards you. have you chosen today? Today we are using the Enlightenment Oracle cards. We've not used these for a while. They're a lot more manageable to shuffle, so we like that. So let's see what, ooh, oh. wow, okay. <laughs> the card that's flown out there says joy and grace. It's a very simple little message here, but I think that this kind of ties in a little bit to that Sagittarius energy where it is about celebrating that uh, free spiritedness, that joyfulness, but this also says grace. So it's almost like um, when we're playing when we're children, um, you know, sometimes we might get a bit carried away and our parents will say, you know, oh, quieten down or, okay, now it's time for, you know, dinner or a nap. God, your mum was <laughs> polite, wasn't she? <laughs> that was a nice way of putting it. Um, so, but that gracefulness is about, yes, enjoying life, but doing so with a sense of, um, I don't want to sound like really old fashioned, but with a bit of decorum about it, not getting carried away to the point where we, you know, get on other people's nerves, I basically. I kind of get what you say. It's almost like a level of pleasure that's self-contained, that mm. we're almost, uh, you know, if we're crafting or we're painting or we're listening to some music, none of those things are harshly interacting on anyone else's uh, space. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the moon in Sagittarius is about giving people space. It is about independence. So yeah. I think you've blended that that's together That's exactly, that's perfectly. exactly right, yeah. Finding that joyfulness in a more self-contained way. You've nailed it there. Thank you so much for joining us here today. And if you haven't yet um, voted for Patrick, and I'd love it if you went ahead and did so for Astrologer of the Year, um, you can do so in the link beneath this description box. That's very, very kind of you. You can vote from wherever you are in the world. You also have options to vote for other colleagues uh, in other sectors, psychic readers and people who are interested in angel card readings and so on. But if you did, I'd be very humbled. And if you're based in the UK, you do get entered into a competition to win a holiday in Croatia. That link is beneath this video, as is today's daily horoscope. If you want to check that out from Aries through to Pisces, it's there every day under these videos. If you want to get your written update of where your particular zodiac sign is up to. But for now, from the A team, it is... Goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from her. Goodbye. Goodbye.